Hey guys and welcome back to another video and I hope you are all okay on that side of the screen. Now I've got here the IPEG 9028 and regarding the question that's on top, is this the best Android gamepad available? I'm gonna leave that to you, you'll be the judge of it and hopefully at least that's my target of this video. At the end of this video you will be able to tell if this is the right choice for you or not so you can make a more educated purchase. Uh, especially when it comes to Android TV boxes and enhancing your experience on these devices with a gamepad, especially when we talk about gaming. So what we are going to do on this particular video is I'm going to test right here live with you with two angles so that I can show you the best that I can, uh, how we can connect this really fast and then how we can play some, some games and what about the experience that we get on the trackpad of this particular gamepad, which honestly was one of the main reasons that I ordered this device. So if this is something that matters to you, stay tuned and I'll see you in a few seconds. Okay guys, and we are back. So, as I was saying, this is the IPEG 9028 and before I'm gonna show you a few games and the usage of this, let me just show you a few images right on screen about the box itself, how it comes and also just a few seconds of the unboxing and that will be it. Just so you don't get disappointed because my videos always include just a little bit of the unboxing, at least the, little, the latest videos. Now regarding the uh, gamepad itself, and I'm gonna try to show you as best as I can here. Now it has a very slick design and the material that is built, it's a rubberized plastic which feels really sturdy. Now on the front as you can see we have two remote, uh, not remote, two joysticks and also the trackpad and a directional four button here and then the regular four buttons Y, X, B, A and we got a home button, a select button and a stop button and also on the bottom right here we've got some buttons uh, two of them for the volume and then these three that are used, uh, more used for uh, media playback but to be honest this is not my favorite device when it comes to media playback I just prefer any remote for that for XPMC or Kodi uh, so this is more for gaming now more about the remote just to show you here it has two buttons at the back and another two buttons right on the top so just to show you it really fits the hands and you can reach all the four buttons at the back in a very nice pleased way so one more thing here is it's able to put your mobile phone right here it has a spring so it can fit um, I'm not sure about the size so I'm not gonna lie to you the best thing to do regarding this if you are going to use a phone here is just go to the IPEG website and you're gonna get the specifications of the size of phones that you can place on now this is not a very or it's not at all a concern to me because I'm not uh, using this for uh, any phone but if that's uh, the case of one of you guys just check out the website and you have the specifications for this. Now what we are going to do first is we are going to connect this device here and hopefully you can see it well on screen. I'm going to enable the Bluetooth and once enabled the Android TV box, which by the way, I'm using the Minix S, uh, sorry, Minix XH8 Plus. So if you haven't, um, if you haven't seen the, the review, you can, and I will try not to forget to post the link below, you can check it out on the channel. Now, what we have to do is we have Bluetooth enabled on the Minix. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press X and home right over here which is the key combination that I just checked on the user guide. So if we search for devices now, 
we will have on screen our PG9028 and it says pairing and connected. So regarding the connection, this is it. Now we have our gamepad connected and as you can see on screen I can use the trackpad and if I apply pressure it will give me whatever I select. So this is just a general way how it will work. Now this trackpad here as you can see it will work similarly to any trackpad in a laptop of course much much smaller but that's the way it's going to work you can slide your finger and then just apply some pressure and it will select the application um, that you want so right now we have this device connected to um, to the Android TV box and as you saw it's pretty easy just select on the manual you have four modes uh, but the one that matters to us in this particular video is the gamepad experience. So now let's go for uh, a few games tested and what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you some games and see how this remote works. I'm going to give you my feedback. But uh, just to tell you that I don't want to keep this video very long so I'm going to cut a few parts of this video and probably I shouldn't have said this because I'm just wasting your time right now but just so you know that I'll be cutting so let's go for the first game okay so here we are with the first game loaded which is Fruit Ninja and hopefully you can see the gamepad right here so now if you and hopefully you know how this game works uh, we just have to cut fruit now if you see what I do with my finger and I'm trying to show you as best as possible here I will have to double click and apply pressure so that I can select and cut in this particular game and as you can see I'm applying some pressure with my finger so that the blade is activated and once you remove you will have to apply it once again let's move out from the bomb oops okay so one more try on this game here and what I can tell is that the experience is not that bad uh, you will need although a bit of practicing so you can get this thing working really help, really well with this type of games now hopefully you could see on screen the effort that uh, I was making and to be honest is not the best experience especially if you compare this with touching a real tablet or phone screen now it's not the same this will work as a trackpad on any laptop as I said so let's go for another game and check it out okay so we have here Despicable Me and let's see how this works or not and let's okay so as you can see it's playable but it's as I say you will need some practice oops okay so that will be <laughs> just to show you how uh, it works so you will have to double click and then move down or upwards and let's try once more here just to show you once again now this really needs practice for this um, this type of gaming experience with a touchpad like this uh, and here we go oops and that was it <laughs> so let's try it's definitely playable uh, but once again this type of games and to be honest with you I was expecting that my fault not I Peggy fault uh, I was expecting just to slide my finger and that would uh, move the character from one side to another 
um, but that was my expectation higher than what it is they don't specify that they specify exactly that it's a trackpad and a trackpad does exactly what it's meant for so no complaints here let's go now for another game okay and we have now angry birds which is a funny game to play and most of you might have tried on phones and things like that so let's see how it works with this gamepad and as you can see the trackpad for this kind of menu and things like that is just great so once again here i will have to double tap oops double tap the bird in this case and then let it go and bam hey <laughs> we win and let's try another level sorry guys if i'm not showing you the best image possible here but i'm trying to do it live so that you can see if it works or not no editing here so just bring it down and bam whoa way too long hey but i got lucky and two whoa <laughs> nice play <laughs> okay very lucky on there <laughs> And okay, so regarding this type of game, um, as you saw, Angry Birds, um, that you don't have a very fast movement, um, you will play well. And if you love this type of game, then instead of using a mouse, and by the way, a mouse is a really a great way to test if your game will be able to be used with a trackpad and this gamepad here or not if you can play a game with the mouse and then you can you can play with this i'm going to show you one or two games uh, that will not work actually with the trackpad which also don't work with the mouse so this is a good comparison before you buy try with the mouse and you will see if you can uh, get it to work or not but in conclusion regarding this game here you can definitely play it just little bit of practice and i think you will get there at least if you are on your couch on your living room or your kid he will have a better experience with this kind of remote just to be able to move around the menus and things like that uh, than with the remote without any trackpad but let's move on for another one okay so we are here with clash of clans and this is clearly a game that you can perfectly play with this type of device as you can see I just need to tap and okay in this case no sorry about that I don't really play these games <laughs> my kid loves to play but um, let's see if I can buy something here okay this one uh, so we can move it uh, like so no like so yeah I can drag it and place it wherever I want and let's say that this was the perfect position just select it and bam and if I want to finish now just spend one of these uh, gems and boom as you can see uh, to play this type of games clash of clans and others you will be able to to play them fine which are games that are not very fast and you don't need to be um, very fast with your actions opposed to despicable me that you will actually need to move the character the character sorry very fast so this type of game will work just fine once again before you buy the the gamepad try with the mouse if the game doesn't work with the mouse then it will not work with uh, the gamepad and i'm going to give you an example in a few seconds so let's go for another example now Okay, so now here we got an example of top par uh, top farm, sorry, um, game that you can see a little bit blurry on the monitor, but it's one of the games that it will actually don't not work. Uh, you can try it with the mouse, and let's see here. So even with the mouse, if we try, it will not be able. So obviously. It will not be able with the remote as well with the gamepad sorry as well as you can see you can move you can apply pressure but it will not fit and with the mouse will happen the same um, situation so this is why i say that before you get it if your favorite game uh, you play it on your phone and then you want to play it on 
one Android TV box, just try with the mouse. And if you cannot, as the example that we just saw, Top Farm, and there are more games. Um, if you don't, uh, if you're not not able to play with the mouse, you will not be able to play, play with this gamepad. So that's something to have in attention. Now let's go for another example. Okay, so now we have the Dream League soccer game, football game, and let's see how it works. I put it on training so that no one steals the ball from me. <laughs> and as you can see here, you can. Um, play nicely without any configurations just out of the box um, so this type of game i believe that will be just fine okay now the ball is up even playing against myself or against no one i can do some bad things so as you can see all the buttons are well mapped different type of passes and so on so this type of games i haven't tested all of them of course but these type of games I believe that will be. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Not go. This type of games will be more than fine for this type of gamepad, having an advantage because sometimes there's a menu that appears and you cannot select it if you don't have a trackpad, or you will have to have a gamepad, a regular one without trackpad, and then a mouse just to press some buttons here and there. Of course, you can in some games use the directional buttons and the select buttons but not all of the games uh, do that option now let's see another example okay guys so now we have here the asphalt 8 game and as we can expect these type of games really work well with this gamepad now of course there are other gamepads that do more or less the same job as this gamepad here but um, it's always great to have this trackpad and whoops yeah, I was not pressing the accelerator yeah I thought something was wrong so just uh, which button was no not this one Okay, that is it, the Nitro. I didn't recall which button it is, but there we go. So, just to give you an idea how. But this is something that it's not new at all. So, just leave this as it is. And I don't want to make this video any much longer. Now, we've seen these games over here. And let me just... Uh, check the name of one which actually doesn't uh, work besides the besides the yeah it's the subway surfers so besides the top farm subway surfers doesn't uh, work either so that's something to have in mind and actually doesn't work with the mouse either so that's why i repeat this for the third time i think if it doesn't work with the mouse it will not work with this now in conclusion guys hopefully you could see and that that was the best way that i could show you i couldn't imagine of any other way so if i didn't do if i didn't help you then i apologize for that if i did then great now in conclusion for this gamepad in particular now there are a lot of gamepads out there uh, what I felt with these with this one here and I tried all these games that you saw on screen uh, All of them work great the ones of driving of course it works great the football ones uh, will work great uh, The ease of connecting this to any Android box is as you saw very easy. So that's a great plus uh, besides having this great quality material or I wouldn't say great, but high quality material. It's not a cheapo uh, remote as I've got a plastic remote here, which feels cheap. It was cheap and it feels cheap. Works great, <laughs> but it feels and, and was cheap. This one is different. It's very rubberized and nice. So in conclusion, I think that this trackpad here is a great plus for this uh, gamepad. And in my opinion, I don't regret the purchase at all. Um, it is great and if you ask my son if he's enjoying it he's definitely enjoying especially those games and clash of clans is one that he plays a lot uh, 
he really enjoys being on the living room in his couch and just bing 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 and building his stuff so guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did thumbs up if you want to check the availability and prices i will put post the links below regarding the machine that we were using minix x8 h plus i will try not forget to post the link below or in the description on the video and that will be it so guys hope you enjoyed i'll see you on the next one